We know that chemical reactions, especially those we consider reversible, eventually settle into a state of dynamic equilibrium, in which both the forward and reverse reactions are occurring, but the net concentrations of reactants and products no longer change. This state of equilibrium is described by the equilibrium expression. Keq equals the concentrations of products raised to their stoichiometric coefficients, divided by the concentrations of the reactants raised to their stoichiometric coefficients. At equilibrium, this Keq is a constant. When the system has achieved its equilibrium balance, this expression equals that constant. But what happens if we disturb this equilibrium by doing something like adding more reactants or removing products? Clearly, if you change the concentration of one of the reactants or products, this value changes. It doesn't equal the equilibrium constant anymore. When we are not at equilibrium, this expression doesn't equal the equilibrium constant. Instead, we call it the reaction quotient, Q. The system wants to be at equilibrium. That's its happy place. So it needs to reestablish that balance. The tool that the system has to do this is to do more reactions, either in the forward direction or the reverse direction, to re-establish equilibrium. Let's think through how this works if we add extra reactants to a system at equilibrium. If I add some A, then the denominator of this expression gets larger. So the value of Q becomes smaller than Keq. The system wants to reach equilibrium, so wants Q to approach Keq. And in order to do this, it needs to make the numerator bigger. It needs to make additional products, C and D. We say that the reaction shifts to the right. Let's see what would happen if we decided to add some product to the reaction flask, again disturbing our equilibrium mixture. The concentration of D would go up, making the numerator bigger and making Q larger than Keq. To compensate and reestablish equilibrium, the system will need to make the denominator larger by making more A and B. We say that the reaction shifts to the left to re-establish equilibrium. This is the essence of Le Chatelier's principle, which says that a reaction that is disturbed from equilibrium will shift to one side or the other in order to re-establish equilibrium.